All right, what's up everybody? Today I'm here to tell you why Break is the greatest movie ever made. Do you remember the 2012 thriller starring Steven Dorf directed by Gabe Torres? Or have you never heard of any of those names ever? Probably the latter, but let me tell you, Break is the greatest movie you have never seen. So this movie has been rated 44% on Rotten Tomatoes and for years it has kept me up at night. So I need to, I need to set the record straight right now and explain to you why this should be 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. So basically, if you've never seen the movie, let me explain to you what is so amazing about it. The entire movie movie except for the last five minutes is set in the trunk of a car now you might be thinking this sounds exactly like buried the 2010 thriller starring ryan reynolds that actually got a good score on rotten tomatoes but let me assure you well yeah this is basically just buried and not as good. I've actually never even let myself watch Buried because I'm so in love with this film Break that I don't want to watch Buried because I know it's probably better than Break and that Break probably stole the storyline from it. But so basically a special service agent that works for the US government wakes up in the trunk of a car in a plastic box with nothing other than a radio and a creepy clock above his head that's counting down from, I think, 10 minutes. He has no clue what's going on, no memory. He's freaking the fuck out. It's got you hooked right off the bat. You're already sucked in in the first, like, 20 seconds. There is not a single dull part of this entire movie. Within the first couple minutes, Jeremy Rains, who's the special service agent, finds out that it's a terrorist attack, and these terrorists are demanding the location of Roulette, which only he knows the location of and roulette is the special hideout that the president will go to in case of a terrorist attack once i found out it was a terrorist attack when i first saw this movie like six years ago that's when i decided like this intro is the coolest intro to any movie or show ever until i saw the netflix original bodyguard which has probably the coolest intro to any series or movie i've ever, I've ever seen ever so there's this timer countdown above him what's gonna happen when the timer goes down i don't know he doesn't know nobody knows and so you're automatically sucked into the storyline and you're you're sweating your pits are sweating your hands are sweating your feet are sweating through your socks also imagine the budget for this movie it's probably like 12 dollars. so the budget for buried was two million dollars and the budget for break was only five hundred thousand dollars so therefore buried had four times the amount of money to spend but it was not four times better it was actually worse so therefore break is even break is four times better than buried you know what I'm saying? Anyways, it turns out that when the clock hits zero, there's different rounds of torture or things that are going to happen to Jeremy Rains to try and force him to give up the location of Roulette. Now, good old Jeremy Rains is a dedicated agent, and he does not give this up the entire movie. So basically, this whole movie is this guy getting just absolutely obliterated in every way in the back of a car everything horrible happens to this guy like imagine you're claustrophobic you're allergic to bees and then you're in this box and then they open up a little gate and thousands of bees fly in and sting you and then you fucking start to die also totally unrelated detail but at at one point in this movie jeremy breaks his nose from the car driving around and he has this super bloody nose for the, literally the entire movie and it just is the thickest gunk just stuck at the edge of his nose sorry it just really bothered me now you might think that this just sounds like a corny thriller that is rated 44 percent on rotten tomatoes but you'd be wrong because it's also a love story this guy has a girlfriend and it sounds like she kind of fucking hates him and he loves her and yeah and then eventually well, I'll get to that later. So this guy never gives up the location of roulette. He, they cannot break him. He is steel. He is, well, I don't know what, I think you could break steel, but I don't know. He's, this guy is in, unbreakable. This movie's like a mix of buried, which it's sort of like buried and the saw. That's why it's so much better. If I still haven't convinced you this is the greatest movie on planet earth, wait for this. Okay. Eventually they can't break him. And at, at the very end, they let him out of the trunk. They open up the trunk of the car, open up the box. He climbs out. He's freaking out because he thinks they're terrorists. Guess what? It's all a fucking test. It's all a test by the secret services to see if he's actually a trustworthy and reliable person to have the location of roulette. Or is it? If you thought M. Night Shyamalan was good at twists in movies, wait till you watch fucking Break by Gabe Torres. He thinks it's a terrorist attack and they calm him down and explain to him that it was all a test. And it's all his co-workers around him. They're on like a sound stage. It's all fake. It was all totally fake fake then they put him in an ambulance because he fucking like broke his arm he got stung by a thousand bees he has a broken nose bloody nose so he's headed to the hospital in the ambulance 
with his girlfriend, right? Okay, so now here's the love story kind of coming together to make it so much more than just a thriller. So his girlfriend, who he's deeply in love with, who hated him at one point, she she loves him now and she's comforting him in the ride to the hospital. Right when it's about to end, such a beautiful, happy ending. He looks out the back window and he sees the Washington Monument and he starts laughing and his girlfriend's like, oh, what? Why are you laughing? Ha ha ha. And then he says something dramatic like, oh, it doesn't matter now anyways. She realizes that the Washington Monument was the location of roulette the whole time. And then she locks him to his, his bed thing in the ambulance. She makes a call on her phone. He's freaking out like, honey, well, what the fuck is going on here? Then she takes the fucking gas mask and puts it on his face and suff and kills him. She gassed him to death when she found out where the location of Roulette was, so that's another twist. It was a double twist. Gabe Torres is a cinematic genius. They're like, oh, it's a terrorist attack. And they're like, oh, psych, it's not a terrorist attack. And then he's in the hospital, or he's going to the hospital. They're like, psych, it is a terrorist attack. And his girlfriend and the whole Secret Service was all in on it. Now, it might sound dumb, and all my friends thought it was dumb. They're like, why the fuck do I want to watch a movie of a guy stuck in the trunk of a car the entire time? And that's a valid question. But once you watch it, you're like, wow, this really is the best movie ever made. Now, I did want to read one comment that I saw on the movie trailer on YouTube. This is a little bit of criticism. They say, so the whole plan depended on him telling them. And then when he didn't, the plan relied on him laughing at the Washington Monument. Which, yeah, that it's kind of a lot of holes in the storyline and it's kind of a really shitty ending but like but it's an amazing ending because there's two twists right i don't know i just love movies that make me think and just blow my mind and quite honestly every time i rewatch this movie i realize why it deserves 44 percent on rotten tomatoes and why buried is probably better than it but i will never watch buried because break is the greatest movie ever made it's kind of just the nostalgia factor like how you thought call of duty 4 was the greatest game ever made and then you try and go back and play call of duty 4 and it's not very fun and there's hackers and the connection is terrible and the graphics don't look very good and they're like all right this was cool but it's like there's a lot of other better games. That's kind of how break is. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. There's going to be more videos coming every single week. If you guys like me or you like that sloth poster on the wall behind me, be sure to check out my podcast called Peak to Middle School that I co-host with my buddy Kyle. Or you can check out my other YouTube channel where I do documentary style things and I post a video every month doing different weird ass challenges. So if you guys want to see weird stuff like that, check that out. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys later.